Right. Okay. All right, so you are ready with game one, my good sir? I am, uh, yep. Pit Noir and Simba, Grand Finals. I'm ready with grand game one when you are. All right, three, two, one, go. We got Grands. Pit was chilling in winners this whole time. Simba was like, all right, no, hang on. I want my run back. All right, that yeah. game, that winners final set did not happen. And not only that, but we are back on forest floor. Yeah. Game four right. on forest floor. I was just mentioning this is the fourth, technically the fourth game in a row we've had on this stage. Oh. This is <laughs> this is paralleling uh, my set versus guard a couple weeks ago, where I took him to Ethereal Gates three times, lost all three games. Uh, run back, we come back to the same set, same game or same stage game one. It's exactly like that. But yeah, exactly. hopefully. We can see something better from Simba. Oh, he dash attacked into it. Simba making a statement right now. He's like, no more. Like, I am not know. getting three stock game one. Yeah. And oh, never mind. He's getting face. punched in the face. All right, armor. A little scary, but again, Zetter has the Ooh. combo game to to take care of armor really good. Or you can just get a parry. Uh, that was such a scary back air by Pit Norm on that parry. Like I I did not think that back air was gonna work. Yeah, exactly. But that was also a really good dash dance into that forward smash too. Just kind of like going right outside the range. Ooh, oh, nice parry. Waiting there. Simba looking like he's grown up and become the leader that we've all seen. He's definitely fighting Scar right now. Dude, did you notice that he just reversed up special into bear to get back on stage? He did. That was actually kind of nice. Oh, no. Gonna live that. Oh, such a good... Oh, my gosh. This option coverage right now is just so good. <gasps> oh, the good delay. Adel is working as intended! <laughs> <gasps> that was so ballsy. Mm-hmm. There it is again! That dash dance into baiting out an option into the forward smash. That was surprising. <gasps> and we get he just gets stat on for sure. You know? <laughs> like just goes back and forth. I'm gonna kill you? No, it's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Mom said it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we've got we've got Edelis off stage right now. That classic projectile immunity is gonna get him through that fireball. Oh, calling out quite a few of like, quite a few of Pit Noir's parries. Mm -hmm. He gets underneath him on a platform. He waits for the parry and then appropriately punishes. It's really good to see because it shows that he's like adapting more from the uh, from the winner's final set. And he's not. He really does not want to have the same thing happen. <gasps> that was that so was nice. So nice. That was so nice. Oh, morning. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. That was so clean. That lean into the Nair one up smash was so good. Shout out to Pity. Nair one up smash. That was so clean. And Simba making a statement by taking the first game. I'm just saying. That was just too nice. I can't even say anything. That was too nice. That was actually really nice. The Zetter is hype. I love I love watching a good Zetter play. Mm -hmm. It's it it is something to watch like a really good Zetter. Flo, thank you so much for following my boy Renzo. We're going into game two. Game two, I'm ready. Alright, we're going to Tampa Tree. Yes. Alright, three, two, one, go. So lots of open space for Aerolis, but small blast zones for Senator. So Interesting count pick. I think, like, I feel like personally, like, if you fight an aggressive Zetter, like someone like Levin or uh, Pity, I would personally not want to go to the stage because I feel like you're just going to be oppressed. You are gonna, you are gonna get hit by a million buttons, and there is nothing you can do about it. I am yes. sorry. Like, I will. I remember the last time I took Levin here. I think I got uh, like, uh, or I left the stage open. Levin took me here and 3-socked me, and I was like, God, yeah. okay, fine, I get it. Ooh, interesting. Jeez, Louise, that was a little rough DI. Ooh, gets out of the shine up smash. 
There, up there tilt. There we go. Up tilt. Up tilt's so good on Atlas. It like, is. Like, not the, not the best in terms of, like, hitbox uh, disjoint, but the amount of hits done and other things, it's super good. I don't know what Cole was doing with that hammer right there. I think he was <laughs> icicles, but he just got hammered. You know, it would be like that sometimes. <gasps> oh, good DI this time. Not going to have a repeat of what happened before. Oh my! Oh, that galaxy! Oh. oh no, he couldn't even take it! No! Oh no, you don't want to see that happen. He just Oh, he just walked oh, there out we go. All right, evens it up real quick, but that is that is a very unfortunate consequence. But it's it's stuff like that. The like the awareness from Pit to go for a thing like that. I know. Like, it's such a fun player to watch. Like the these like uh, unconventional options and situational awareness. Simba's doing a great job at baiting out all these different resources from Pit without even doing anything. I know, and he's got a lot of percent on him right now. Oh, is that going to take it? That's going to take gonna... it! That Ooh. was too good. We might see a quick reset by Simba Ooh. here. Yeah, he's up 2-0 right now. He's got two counter picks in case it does go to game five yeah he's got he's got a lot of stuff going for right now he's also got some really good momentum like holy yeah he does oh my gosh okay okay he's so, controlled that last stock yeah i want to point out that he was baiting out a lot of air dodges and early double mm -hmm. jumps from pit in that game too quite yeah. a lot like you'd see him buffer air dodge and he was just like i'm just i'm just jumping dude yeah, that's something oh, that I've noticed. Like, I thought you were going to hit me. Like, nah, I'm just jumping. Man. That's something that I've noticed um, playing against Simba recently. He is kind of the bait master. Like, he he knows your habits really well, and he will call you out on them and bait them out and just punish you for them so hard. I think he's gotten really, really good at just doing playing like that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, he's definitely leveled up these past... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading... <laughs> yeah, these past uh, past couple months, like he has leveled up hard. Yeah, I would I would agree. After seeing like how he's played now, I'm like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if I wanna if I wanna fight him right now. He might be he might be too strong. Yeah. We're gonna go into game three. This is Pitt's final counter pick, and it's gonna be Jules Veil. Vale. Yeah. I'm gonna see like it, I want to see if Simba gets the quick three zero into the reset, or if Pitt's gonna be able to hold on for dear life. Whew. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, game three on Jules Vale. Simba oh saying, my gosh. "Immediate parry on the ice goes." That's a statement. I like it. Yes. That's a statement. It says, "You know, you can't do that in my oh house." Oh my gosh! It's all sweet, the... 60, 70 percent. No, all that these parries by Simba are just so good. All right, that was good. All right, doesn't opt to go off of that edge guard. Just says, "I'm gonna stay on stage." That's fine. You know what I like is the um, I just saw Pit Norm do. He got uh, got punished for it, but what can be really good sometimes is just the vanilla recovery, where you just you don't do anything. You just come back on stage. You just go up and you come back on stage. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes <sighs> you need to be able to do that. Oh my lord! Bad di. Bad di was a little rough. Right now, Simba's up a stock. Oh, oh never mind. The great equalizer holding it on icicles to get hit by that other forward air. Now we're at two socks apiece. Now the only one's getting all the parries. Mm -hmm. What was that movement? <sighs> oh, we're seeing a lot of good up air usage from Timber right now just to juggle mm -hmm. idolists. Oh, no, he got knocked off stage. No. Oh, no. Pits on his potential last stock of this game. And, the, and if a reset happens, oh, my lordy. All I got to say for that is live by the clip, die by the clip. Oh, yeah, my God. This right now, though, Simba's like, oh, my. Simba is not letting up the oppression right now. He is just, he's still going in on him. He's still baiting out so many options. All right. Here oh. we go. <laughs> He finally gets that uppy off stage like that. 
his last stock. Right now, Edelus is at a very dangerous percent if he has ice on him. Or if mm -hmm. he has a fire on him. But, we're going to have to see. Pitt's got to have a really good edge guard game if he really wants to clean this up. Because no uh -oh. armor. Now he's definitely going to die. He just goes in with a dash deck so raw. I love it. No. No. no! What? He went through that was so raw! <laughs> that was so wild! <laughs> he, act he called that out so hard. <laughs> That's wild. And Pitt basically just keeping himself alive through a sheer, like, Hail Mary play. Oh. My God. He really baited. He, he bet it all on that one thing and he got it. And that was it. That was that was the game. Like, if he if he whiffed it, he was dead. It and he, but he didn't. And that that I just I can't. We're going to game four. That was I, Sims game to win, and Pitt literally oh. grabbed him and chucked him into game four. I'm, I'm just I'm completely speechless. Well, I can speak for you. Pitt literally chucked him into game. Four. Oh. But he has got two counter picks though, <laughs> and the first, and it looks like we're going to see <laughs> as the first one. All right, <laughs> that was that was. I'm ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right. Despite that, I'm hoping that Simba didn't take too much mental damage from game three because I that is something that we don't we we do often talk about. It's like we want to talk about how things like that can affect like the person uh, men mentally going in. Oh my, oh my god! And on all dude, four there is also yeah. it's a lot of physical and mental damage too. <laughs> oh. Absolutely, yeah. Oh no! Whiffs the parry on that. Yeah, I think he... Alright. Keeping the percent relatively even, but... Ooh. I wonder oh. if he wanted to parry that and, and put it in a jump by accident. So as it's jumping everything... <gasps> good spacing. Good, good, just... Good awareness there. Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh. Up. He, he, went, he came from downtown to uptown. I was like, hello! <laughs> it's me! That was the alley-oop right there. Just chucked him, yeah. All right, Edelus with armor is yep. another mental beast in himself, yeah. I gotta say, he's only on his second yeah. stock, but this is not looking good for Simba. The jab, the resets were so oh, good right oh. there. Oh my gosh! Good getting back to stage. Oh, oh wait! A bait Pit. on that. Oh no. Pit is playing oh, out of his mind right now. We are seeing a little stronger play from Pit, but I feel like we're also seeing a little more uh, timidness from Simba as a result of what happened in Game Three. I think. I agree. Oh, where he's still a little shook. And I don't want to say that in a disrespectful way, but like, I feel like we're not seeing the aggressive, uh, pressure-heavy bait heavy stuff that we were seeing from game two yeah i mean look right there where he just waited for pit to land and that's like you gotta pressure him dude you gotta put pressure on yeah like standing still in that case doesn't isn't gonna do a whole lot pits at 235 right now still on his first oh stock. My gosh are we gonna see a three stock is he gonna get oh my oh, god he's not he's at 250 that was it yeah you can see at the very end he just he turns left i'm like oh no Dang. Again, like Edelus like puts the Edelus puts the mental pressure on you, man. Yeah, Pitt is playing he's playing out of his mind. He's like taking full advantage of, of Simba's hesitance. Yeah, the the lack of uh I feel like the lack of aggression is letting Pitt get away with a lot more of what mm -hmm. he wants to get away with. Uh versus how yeah. we saw games one, two, and three going where we saw Simba putting on a lot more pressure, a lot more uh, shine pressure, a lot, a lot of good back air pressure. Yeah. And it's all the momentum has shifted 100%. Yeah, I really do want to see Simba kind of push himself back into being a little more assertive, a little more pressure heavy. Yeah. Just a 
getting back into that mix-up groove where he's mm-hmm. baiting parries and he's uh, he's forcing Edelis off stage. Yeah. We're gonna see what happens as we go into Aramata for game five. You ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, game five. Is Simba gonna get the reset or is Pit gonna reverse three zero one? <gasps> oh my God! Oh, you got to parry on the ice again. Yes, the there fire. we go. Yes. That, okay, we're seeing the we're seeing that more aggressive side come out now. I mm-hmm. love it. Simba's saying, "Okay, I took kind of that game four to kind of regroup a little, even though you kind of bodied me." I. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you got to get yourself. You got to recompose yourself. Oh, the wave lancer. Yes, more of that. I love seeing. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. See that hesitance yes! there. Like, mm-hmm. But he still gets the back row sign setup. We're seeing a much more even game compared to. Yes, we uh, are. But Dacus, just gonna Dacus. Say- <laughs> the, the great oh, equalizer. Great. Yeah. All right, pushing him off stage. Yes, keeping him off there and forcing the armor burn. All right, yeah, you don't want to let uh, you don't want to let Pig be able to go go back there and. Ooh, good eye on that dash attack. Still playing a little, a little hesitant. I gotta yeah. say. I think he's but trying right now not to overcommit. Yes, gets the down the armor. He missed the armor there. Yeah, which is a little interesting. I thought he wasn't gonna miss it. Oh he boy, took. what's gonna happen? <gasps> he went for a refreeze. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Wow. All right, Simba's sitting on his last potential stock of the tournament. Yes, look at this aerial pressure right now. I love it. Yeah, that is so great. That's what we weren't seeing last game, where when Pit was falling, Simba was just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Now he's he's putting the pressure on. That's good to see. Yeah. Oh, tries to fastball a nair to get the nair too, but doesn't get it. Uh oh. Uh. Simba oh. in a very bad spot right now. Oh, good, uh, good. Uh, I want. I was gonna say it's a pity flip, but it's not. Oh, the re! That was. That was. Oh a, man. That was an orcane down smash. He held that. that. Was, uh, you don't see that by Edelus a lot. The plat. The the, the wave land down, down smash. smash, and he held it a little bit. That was. That, that was, was good stuff. Oh, yeah. And pit. From a two zero deficit. Dang. With, Three two and is your Florida Weekly number seven champion. Let's that was get really it good. from winner's side. That was insane. That Let's was Simba. I think again, like I feel if if that uh, momentum shift in game three did not happen, I definitely saw like a quick 3-0 into a potential reset into Simba winning the whole thing because he was playing so 